What if a child mistakenly drinks sniper or any similar poisonous substance, pesticide, insecticide, herbicide, or any of the organophosphates? What do you do? Or what if it was a situation of attempted suicide? What do you do? Or what if you mistakenly inhaled it or drank it or got poisoned by skin or eye contact? What do you do? How do you minimize pain, reduce damage, or preserve life? Now, in this video, we will look at first aid for organophosphate poisoning or sniper ingestion, either deliberately or mistakenly, after we take a look at some of the symptoms pointing to danger. Hello, my name is Dr. Malik Haruna King. Do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel for free health and wellness videos. I won't bother you with any technical fact or knowledge that should only be known by medical professionals. No, I will give you only information that you need to know. Now, first, speed. Every second counts because this is an emergency. As soon as you detect this, rush to the hospital or start making arrangements to get the person to the hospital because there is not much that can be done at home and even in the best of hospitals after a while there's almost nothing anyone can do to save the person so the earlier and faster you get medical help the better now organophosphates are a wide range of products meant for different purposes and under different company and product names. Sniper is a common name in this part of the world. Whatever the name, provided it's an organophosphate, you may be used to control insects and pests in homes and farms. The first aid and subsequent treatments that we will mention here are similar. Just so you know, you could see names like diclovus or 2,2-dichlorovinyl dimethyl phosphate or DDVP written on the container. Now, how can one be poisoned by organophosphates like sniper? Number one, by inhaling or breathing it in. Number two, by excessive skin contact and skin absorption. Number three, by drinking or swallowing it, either mistakenly or deliberately. Number four, by eye contact by contact with the eye and absorption through the eye now how do you know someone is poisoned by organophosphates like snipers what are the signs and what are the symptoms body weakness headaches tightness in chest blood vision salivation excessive production of saliva sweating nausea vomiting diarrhea abdominal pain eye and skin irritation and pain eye pupil constriction, eye pain, running nose, difficulty in breathing, blue discoloration of the skin, twitching off muscles, paralysis, dizziness, movement problems, restlessness, confusion, convulsion, coma, cessation of breathing, and so on. Yes, I know that's quite a long list and that shows how harmful or the harmful effects it has on the body now most importantly what do you do to help what are some of the first aid tips number one cry for help call for help as soon as possible start making arrangements to take the person to the hospital as soon as possible number two protect yourself as we earlier mentioned it can be inhaled and it can be absorbed through the eyes and skin even up to lethal deadly amount so protect yourself if it is a closed space quickly open the doors and windows to allow for some ventilation and aeration and handle containers carefully if the person vomited avoid contact with the vomitors with bare skin as much as possible avoid contact and when helping the person as much as possible reduce direct skin to skin contact please protect yourself so we don't have a second victim number three place the person in a recovery position now the recovery position is when you let the person to lie down on his side in the left side left lateral position while you wait for help to arrive and so you, this is the position left lateral with the hand behind here to support and the right knee 
above this way to stop the body from rolling over onto the stomach. Number four, induce vomiting. Now, for organophosphate poisoning and for sniper ingestion, even though some experts do not agree with this point of inducing vomiting, others, including the producers of these products, advise that you make the person to vomit. So if the person actually drank it, and if it is within two hours after drinking it, and the person is fully conscious, make the person to vomit. If the person is conscious, give large quantity, large amounts of water immediately. Try to get the person to vomit by touching the back of the throat with a finger. Do not give salt water as this may involve serious risk. If you have liquid paraffin or activated charcoal in your first aid box, this is the best time to give the person. This is actually life saving. Also note that activated charcoal is not ordinary charcoal. It is different and you can get one from a pharmacy. Again, do not make an unconscious person vomit because of the risk of aspiration and it gets into the wrong places and into the lungs and causing more harm than good. Now, here are other important tips. Number five, if the person is convulsing, let the person convulse. Do not try to forcibly restrain him. Number six, if it was poisoning by excessive skin contact, remove contaminated clothing immediately and immediately wash the contaminated skin using soap or mild detergent and water. Number seven, if it was poisoning by excessive inhalation, excessively breathing it in, move the exposed person to fresh air at once. Number eight, if it was by excessive eye contact, wash the eyes immediately with large amounts of water for at least 10 minutes, lifting the upper and the lower lids occasionally while washing. Now, briefly, for medical professionals and medical personnel, commence resuscitation using the ABC approach. Atropine is the antidote of choice for the treatment of this kind of poisoning and it is life-saving. However, atropine should never be administered unless warning signs of intoxication appear. And atropine should be given at high doses, doubling dosage every five minutes in a stepwise fashion until there is visible or obvious stabilization. Diazepam and pralidoxime have been found to be super helpful also and do not forget to get a mental health review for the person especially if the poisoning was deliberate and not accidental and check the description section for a free ebook titled fire your doctor take charge of your health and happiness